Hey folks, Alan Jones with Hi-Fi Buys. I'm in our Legends room and I'm really excited to tell you about a new addition to our amplifier family down here at Hi-Fi Buys. It is the Audio Research Ref 160S. All I can say is wow, expressive as it can be. So tune into the video and let's learn something. Hey folks, Alan Jones here at Hi-Fi Buys. I'm in our Legends room and I'm excited to get into a little bit of depth with Audio Research's amplifier that is a new addition to our store here. And it is the Ref 160S. Those that have been to the store know that we also have the Ref 160Ms here uh, in another room, in the Beatles room, and we also end up having uh, out there with the Quattro uh, Woods, the Vandersteens, uh, we also have the Ref 80S. All three of these amplifiers are absolutely the statement of expressive audio. It's just amazing what they've ended up doing. These amplifiers, as you can see with the ghost meters on them, you can actually turn those meters up and down or completely off. Again, these amplifiers are made with very discrete parts so they can fix the items. So there's not a lot of what I would call ICs and that kind of stuff in the units. You end up finding large resistors, a lot of space on the board. They've learned over the years that it's a whole bunch of tiny little things that make that one amazing difference that makes it an audio research product. So this particular one here is about a 100 pound amplifier. It's both available in black as you see and also natural, which is uh, generally a silver finish. Um, you end up finding it uses four KT-150s per side. Those have an ability to last about 2,500 hours. They're absolutely the most musical, awesome tube that's been invented for, audio, for the audio business. Um, they also use six, eight, six, six H30s, excuse me, uh, for the gain stage, two in each side. Um, so you end up finding there's four output tubes and then two gain, gain tubes. The gain tubes, the 6H30s, will last about 4,000 4, hours each. It's an elegant look, something that won't spoil in time. I know because I've lived with them for time. And the meters are just amazing the way that they were developed. Um, it's something that uh, I, again, am just as happy as I can be about what they're bringing to the party. My buddy Trent Suggs took over this company, I think a little over a year ago, maybe two years now. Time domain for all of us is a little bit off. But uh, I am so happy and proud of him for what he's done with this company. Uh, we're seeing products at real prices that actually uh, that are absolutely sitting at state-of-the-art and world-class audio. And that's all the way from the 80S through this 160S all the way to the 160Ms back in the other room. Audio Research is kind of a unique company in the regard that when they built the original amp, that amplifier sits in a listening room. And there's one gentleman that listens to every single amp that goes out the door to make sure that it matches exactly to the amplifier next to it. So a lot of people manufacture things and they'll listen to them, but not necessarily as an exact match next to something else. So in the tube world, it's really important. So they come out with match tubes. I recommend everybody buy their tubes from Audio Research. Uh, after you get your amp, you'll find it to be much more reliable and uh, just a much better sound because again, they're the ones that are uh, making sure the tubes are right for that amp. All right, so in the operation of this, we uh, do have the cage on it. Um, the cage is uh, taken off by three screws in the back and then slid off the back. Um, it's actually pretty easy to do. This is actually the power switch. So if I touch that, the amplifier will turn off. If I do that right now, it has a timer to make sure that I can't turn it back on and then saturate my transformer. So anyway, smart move by them. This button right here basically is for the meters. From full on, we go to off, and then we have slightly on, a little bit more than that, and then of course full on. Um, so you end up finding you can kind of cater this to the light that's in your room or how you like it. Um, again, just beautiful job with these meters. Um, this you end up finding, this is a tube uh, monitor. So we hold that in and you can see that all of my tubes are good and it allows us to be able to kind of make a quick check on the tubes if we have any issues or anything along that lines. Uh, again, the tubes are very, very reliable so we really don't expect much within the lifetime that they show. This also is ultra linear and triode. So this amplifier is 140 watts in ultra linear and that's from a 20 to 20 measurement. This does have a bandwidth all the way up to 70K. Um, so you end up finding uh, this amplifier really has a, a extremely wide bandwidth. Um, you also end up finding in triode mode, which I just switched it to. What you end up finding, and the little light, the blue light turns on when it's in triode mode. And that basically is, it's a little more of an intimate, more romantic kind of sound. 
that you'll find out of it. Um, for full-scale big stuff, we normally like the uh, ultralinear, and um, so you end up finding uh, Triode is, uh, again, a little more romantic and about half the power. And again, half the power of this guy is 70 watts. It'll drive anything. So on the back of this amplifier as well, um, you end up having uh, three switches back there. One is for balanced and RCA. Um, these are these new series of amplifiers from these guys uh, also do auto bias. So when you plug in the tubes, uh, according to your voltage, it's going to bias that. And once it does, basically it'll run out of the circuit. So it's not something you actually hear. It's not a biasing system that's in the circuit. So anyway, I uh, don't really have a lot more to say except that uh, I would welcome you down uh, and take a listen to these. You may wind up taking one home like a lot of others have. So thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it.